Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Five Minutes with Sean E. Shawnee, here's your host, Mr. Sean Etten. Good morning, sir. Hey, everybody. Hey, Jerry. Yes, it is. It is January the 12th, I think, 2018. This story right now is real touching to me. We're going to meet a friend of mine, Mark Henninger, who I've known for probably 10 years now. He was the one who, who got behind me in 2013, really helped me with my journey to create my comeback visually he built my he built my original we, uh, a website and just been a rock in my life um you know my show was 2011 and this and i met him in 2013 again i reconnected with mark and he's been a rock next to me it turns out that a couple months ago in november mark found they found a 2.5 pound tumor in his in his abdomen and I'm going to have him share his story with you on, on what he's doing and how this has changed his life completely. But before we do that, and we bring in my good buddy Mark, I want everyone to stop what they're doing right now and push that share button because he is he is the epitome of what I consider a hero of mine and such an inspiration right now. So Mark Henninger, join the five minutes with Shawnee, and thank you for coming on. So let's take me back. I saw you in June of this year. What what happened to you in September and November now? Walk us through that. You know, it was a weird thing, Sean. I basically went outside and looked at my yard and it had a weird had a weird tint to it and I said something's wrong. And I literally went into the doctor and uh, said, Check me out and they said you're fine. I said, No, I wanna go get tests, you know, gonna be fifty this year. And um, so I had cardio, colonoscopy everything, blood work, everything done. They, uh, in the colonoscopy, they found a 2.5 pound tumor that's been in me for about 10 years uh, that was connected to my abdomen. And I only had about less than an inch of pathway. So it, uh, it, was, it was something that if it was left, it was stage three. If it would have been left, it would have been stage four. So I, I, at any given day. It was cancer then, Mark. Say cancer. So you had, you had a tumor, a 2.5 tumor in your gut. Of cancer ready to explode that if they didn't get to this immediately it, it would have killed you yeah it was in my colon so it was a, it was a two you would have died you would have been gone you wouldn't be here right now yeah so it was definitely a uh, it was definitely a uh, it was definitely real and uh, and so they put me in the hospital and I had the surgery and they extracted it and uh, boy painful uh, it's all get out, but at the end of the day, and now I'm in chemo right now. I've started, and I've got to do that for the next six months. And Wow. Okay, okay. I've got to tell everybody, you have a wonderful f family. You're married. You have two beautiful kids who I've all met and know really well. How are they taking to it? Because your family is, 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 is a huge support. You know, here's the thing. Fear with a fear without a fear is imagination without knowledge. And so the more wow. you have, and the more knowledge you have, then you can move forward cautiously optimistic. And so with my kids, I laid everything out to them and my wife and my family and just said, this is the journey I'm on. I um, mean, you know, I'm not dying. I'm getting fixed. And it's going to be what you're going to witness is going to be, I don't know, painful to watch, but it's real. And just know that I'm OK. And, you know, that if you have questions, ask me and don't be afraid of it. And because of that information, again, you know, mm -hmm. imagination without direction, without knowledge. And, and that's kind of the, the message that I resonate with. Well, you know, I often say to my crowd here, my people, it's not about why me, it's about what's next. And so what's next for you with this journey now? I mean, okay, you're going to go through chemo. You're going to be fine. You know, within a short time, you're going to be healed. Yeah. So what do you want to do with now that, you know, you, in my eyes, are such – a genius with what you do. You've a great a business. Um, what are you going to do now, Mark? I mean, what's, is this going to change you? Do you want to give back? How do you want to give back now? Because you have a second chance at life. It's interesting. You know, like the most viable thing you have is your time. And so, and, you know, time equals money. And you're either, you know, there's three levels of time. Like you're either working for time, trading dollars for hours, or time's working for you and you're investing your time in a way that it, that it makes you money and gives you more time back to do the things you want to do. Or times working against you, and you know you're behind. Those are the three three levels. Right. You know, for me, okay. my reset button has been to make my time more available, and so in doing so, you know, I've invested more in my company and my and my and my people and my my processes, and so by allowing the company to grow, 
with more without me. And I think that's been the biggest thing that I've found is that I've been a technical entrepreneur, not an entrepreneurial tech. And so making that change and that transition okay. now allowing me to stay with my family and to right. give back. And the give back factor now for me is to, you know, I'm, I'm starting to work with, with uh, the hospital and with other cancer patients. And nice. That's Good. That's so wonderful. Um, what do you, what treatments besides the total mental and the medical side that we know the doctors, you know, cause the doctors, as you know, on uh, my story, they did great in the beginning for me, but they couldn't help me after a while. And I got frustrated. What are you doing for alternative healing? You know, every, everybody's different. And so that, the, that journey that the doctors give you is, is equally as important for you to have your own personal journey. And what I found for me is, uh, you know, I'm eating less meat. I'm, I'm, because hmm. my body wants that. And I'm uh, eating more fruits. I don't know why, but these <laughs> Things that I'm doing right now, the CBDs for me have not necessarily helped. At least okay. Not. But okay. my journey is such that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at things to make sure that when you put that poison in your body, how do you put things to offset that? So Decrease the inflammation. Right, exactly. I'm going um, to get you some of our stuff at Be, Be True Organics because I think it's going to help you. Um, I don't know what you're on, but – it can all work, you know, and like I said, I, I think what, what you put in your gut is going to make you heal. Yep. And and that's just beautiful. So, Mark, listen, you've been a huge part of my life. You're like I said, I, I point to you being there for the beginning. Had I not met you, I never would have met Jerry. And wow. so I want to just thank you again for being in my life. And I give you the credit. The Stroke Hacker Group wouldn't be here without Mark Henninger. And now Mark got sick, and he's looking at this going, he's going to get fixed. He's going to get better. It's not about uh, why me. It's about what's next for him. And he believes in I can, I shall, I will, because he's going to do this. This guy this guy was getting ready for Tough Mudder back, uh, back in the day, right, and Spartan Race, if I believe. Yeah. And you know what I want to do with you, Mark? You and I are going to do a, a Tough Mudder ourselves or maybe even do a marathon someday. Because if I can finish it, you can finish it with me. We'll do it together. And we'll grab cancer patients. We'll grab stroke stroke patients, brain injury. It doesn't matter what you're hacking. It, you know, like I said, this is a stroke hacker world right now. But but everyone's beating something. Everyone's fighting something. If it's cancer, if it's a loss of a loved one, if it's a heart attack or stroke or brain injury or, or cancer, we're in this together. Mark Henninger, give them real quick who you are. Give us your website and how people can find you. Um, yes, again, Mark Henninger, and my company is 11amps.com. That's the number 11, then A as in Apple, M as in Mary, P as in Paul, S as in Sam. It's a little homage to uh, Spinal Tap, or RM to 11, that makes sense. <laughs> cool. um, I love you. Okay. You are so funny. As well. Um, okay. Well, thanks. Yeah, that's, that's and, and, and then everybody, please, please share this, Mark. We'll get this ready for you, and hopefully you'll, you'll share this as well to your audience as well because we want to build the community with you know with stroke hacker you know everyone's hacking something and and if you ever need to reach out to mark message him find him on facebook he'll be happy to talk to you he this guy is a world of giving he's filled with love and he's gonna make a difference and now i think his journey just just turned even for the better I hate to say that to you mark but this this had to happen to you and you're gonna beat it you're gonna be just fine and together we're gonna finish a lot of things together here and accomplish a lot of stuff a lot of things have come out of this that have been uh, amazing. So you know, I'm touched. To focus on. Exactly. Okay, everybody. This is five minutes uh, with Sean and uh, Mark Henninger. You can find us at Stroke Hacker, StrokeHacker.com, uh, uh, and SeanHenninger.com uh, as well. Thanks, everyone.